Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи! В эфире программа Ушанка Show. I'm recording this video on June 21st, which is summer solstice and uh, it's the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere and it's official start of the summer. But I actually want to talk to you about June 22nd, which is the tragic day in the history of the Soviet Union, because on June 22nd, 1941, exactly 82 years ago, Nazi Germany attacked Soviet Union. It was the day when German army began Operation Barbarossa, operation that totally didn't make any sense, because if you look at the map, if you look at the population of Germany versus population of Soviet Union, it's obvious that Hitler had no chance to win against Stalin. On that day, June 22nd, 1941, Soviet people learned that Germany Viralomna Napala na Sovietsky Soyuz. The Germany attacked Soviet Union treacherously. Treacherously and unexpectedly. Vnizapna i Viralomna. That's the two words that I remember Anytime there will be a description of the beginning of the war on June 22nd, there will always be used in same words, treacherously and unexpectedly. But if you look at the cartoons in the Western media of that time, and of course Soviet people had no access to the Western newspapers, there is a feeling that everyone actually expected that sooner or later, or Stalin going to attack Hitler, or Hitler going to attack Stalin, it's just a question of time, and this honeymoon between two dictators will be over. And they were correct, because on June 22nd, 1941, this happened. Forgive me, comrade, but it seems such a good opportunity. It's the great illustration, but I don't think this is what actually happened. Hitler didn't stab Stalin in his back. I believe Stalin was in the middle of swinging his giant sledgehammer. And remember, in 1941, the Soviet Union had the largest army in the world, with more tanks, 25,000 total, than the rest of the world combined and Hitler managed to beat him by barely two weeks so he stabbed him not in the back Hitler stabbed Stalin right in the exposed stomach while he was in the middle of swinging his giant sledgehammer so the June 22nd 1941 marked the beginning of so-called Great Patriotic War Velika Atechna Vaina and the Soviet historians worked really hard to separate World War II from the Great Patriotic War. It's almost like every prune is a plum, but not every plum is a prune. So Soviet Union had nothing to do with the World War II prior June 22nd, 1941, and the Great Patriotic War was over on May 9, 1945, before the actual World War II was over. But today I would like to talk to you about this famous poster Rodina Mach Zaviot Motherland is calling which became a symbol of the Great Patriotic War. The artist who created this famous poster was Irakli Taidze. He was born in 1902 and he passed away in 1985. So he lived a long and productive life. He is a Georgian artist originally from Georgia and he was one of the favorite artists of Stalin. And if you're wondering why, here's why. This is 1937 Taidze's painting called Jan Stalin reading the poem The Night in the Tiger's Skin, Vitez v Tigrovoy Shkuri, which is the famous Georgian poem. Here's another Irakli Taidze's masterpiece, and this is 1947 poster Azariayet Stalinskaya Laska, Budushe Nashe Ditvari. The Stalin's kindness is shining upon the future of our children. I'll look at this to eat this beauty from 1949. On the banner of Lenin, under management of Stalin, forward to the victory of communism. During his long career, Comrade Toidze created a lot of beautiful propaganda posters and of course, we had no royalties in the Soviet Union, but in the West, he would definitely be a millionaire because all those posters were printed by millions and they were posted all over the Soviet Union. Even during the Great Patriotic War, besides this famous Rodina Maidzaviot poster, Irakli Taidze created several other ones, like this one called Klanus Pabedit Vraga, I swear to beat the enemy. 
or this one from 1943, Zarodinu Mat, for your motherland. Or this one probably from 1944, Europu Let's free the Europe from the chains of fascist slavery. But let's talk again about his most famous masterpiece, the poster Rodina Mat Zavyot. As the official story goes, this poster was created on June 22, 1941, when his wife ran into the Herakli studios and told him that Germany attacked Soviet Union. And Comrade Taidze had this instant inspiration, so he told his wife to stay right there and pose for him. And in this moment of inspiration, he created this poster. And you could see there is a resemblance between Rodina Mait, the motherland person, and his wife. I think the proper English description is spur of the moment. So this poster was created at the spur of the moment right on June 22nd, 1941. The problem with this official story that people remember this poster being plastered on the buildings, on the train cars and everywhere in many cities of the Soviet Union already on the evening of June 22nd and a special next day, June 23rd. So obviously it's impossible to create the poster in the morning of June 22nd and like even next day to have it already printed and distributed all over the Soviet Union. So it sounds like Irakli Taidze lied about the history of this poster and the question why did he lie because it's obvious this poster was created way before June 22nd, way before this unexpected and treacherous attack. And the fact of those posters being all over the country on the next day is so well known that even showed in the movies. For example, there is a movie called Dom v Katoram Ya Živu, The House Where I Live, where they show that poster on the wall the next day. And of course, the most important question, why did he lie about the history of this poster? And the answer, of course, then he had to explain how did he know that Germany gonna attack because if he created poster way in advance, so he somehow knew that the motherland will be calling for its sons to join the Red Army. This question was raised by Viktor Suvorov in his book The Day M, which means Mobilization Day. And Day M, it's his second book. It's the part two of the book The Icebreaker, Lida Kol. And anyone who is interested in the Great Patriotic War, Soviet side of the World War II, I strongly recommend to read his book, The Icebreaker, Lida Kol. And Viktor Suvorov uh, told the story that he received a letter from the former Soviet officer who served in the mobilization office in Minsk, which is Belarus, before the World War II. And he claims that they received sealed packages in December of 1940, so six months before German attack, they received sealed packages that were supposed to be open only on day M, mobilization day. So they store those packages without knowing what's in them for six months. And on June 22nd in the afternoon, they received the phone call and there was a three large packages and the order was to destroy two of them, burn them, without looking inside and a third needed to be open and when they opened that package they found 500 posters Rodina Mat Zaviot. So we can only guess uh, what kind of posters contained the other destroyed packages but I assume they just didn't look right for the situation. And the Rodina Mat Zaviot poster is kind of universal. It doesn't tell you why motherland is calling you or it's because Germany attacked us or because we attacked Germany. So that poster worked and that's how it became famous. Curiously enough, the famous song Stavai strana Gromne, which became like the theme song of the Great Patriotic War, especially of summer of 1941. I don't know if you're familiar with that song, I'll provide the link below in the comment section. Stavai strana Gromneya, Stavai na smertny boy. So this song, also the story goes, was recorded on June 22nd. And then it was available and was being played all over the country on June 23rd, which is also impossible. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Irakli Taidze passed away in 1985, so he took his secret with him. We never learned the truth. 
how he created and when he created this poster. And as I mentioned earlier, he was one of the favorite Stalin's artists. He didn't get any royalties, but he was awarded the so-called Stalinskaya Premia, so it's a Stalin's bonus, four times in 1941, probably for this Rodina Mat Zaviot poster, 1948, 1949, and 1951. And his poster even appeared on the Soviet postal stamp, you see here, it was published in 1965, celebrating 20 years since the victory in the Great Patriotic War. Okay, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I think this topic is extremely important and interesting, so please let me know in your comments what you think, and we're going to discuss it, and maybe we'll make more videos. And thank you so much for watching Shanka Show, and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.